Okay, just doing a quick video here to show how to remove a harmon harmonic balancer and also how to reinstall a harmonic balancer. So in order to remove a harmonic balancer, since they're a press fit onto a crankshaft and they're held on by one bolt that threads into the crankshaft, you're going to remove that bolt first and then you have to pull it off since it's pressed on the, the end of the crankshaft. And in order to do that, you have to pull off where your pulley would bolt onto and then you're going to be pulling using those bolts and then pushing using the end of the crankshaft just right here. And when you're pushing on there, you want to be careful with your puller not to damage the threads on the end of the crankshaft. So in this puller set we have here, it comes with a few different tips. And this tip here, it sits, if you can see in there, on that outer lip and not the inner lip where the threads are. So that'll ride on the outside lip and not damage the threads at all. And then you just take your puller. And what we did with this one was just line it up with two of the pulley uh, bolts and then you just drive this down until it, it's seated and then it'll you just crank it off with a ratchet and it'll come off nicely. The hard part is the install. And so to install a harmonic balancer um, what you're going to want to do is just put a thin coat of grease on the outside of the crankshaft where it sits and make sure this is all smooth and cleaned up nicely. And then also on the inside of your balancer you're going to want to make sure to do the same thing. And you're going to want a some sort of installation tool for this. So we went to Princess Auto and we couldn't find anything with the right threads on this size of crankshaft. And what we're working on, this is a small block 302, a uh, Ford Racing Boss 302 block. And with this crankshaft, Princess Auto or any of the places in town didn't have the right thread size to push on the uh, balancer. So we decided to just go to the local hardware store for Fasco and get a th piece of threaded rod and a washer and three nuts and this is essentially a mock-up of your own installation tool because then what you can do here is thread this rod into the end of the crankshaft use this thick washer and nut this wash will, washer will ride up against the harmonic balancer once it's seated and then you can drive it in and press it on with this nut while you hold it here and prevent the rod from turning. So you th you'll thread that on completely until it's seated and then you can just back it off and thread the rod out. And that should work nicely just to press it in. Okay, and a good idea is to preheat the harmonic balancer for 15 to 20 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, was it? Uh -huh. Fahrenheit in the oven just to get it to expand a little bit and here you just drive it on and make sure the tooth is aligned up make sure it's seated so the tooth's lined up and then we can get our tool on so go ahead I already talked about the grease so it's aligned up with the tooth on the inside of the harmonic balancer. It can only go on one way. So we'll get our tool in there. Thread that into the crankshaft. I'm just gonna try and do this as quick as I can because the thing's hot right now. I'll keep it expanded. All right, so we got our washer. I'm gonna use this nut. Just to drive that down. So I got two 15, 16 wrench, wrenches here. And then I'm gonna prevent this rod from turning and then drive this down. I can already feel, feel it going down. All 
and I'm essentially just going to go until that harmonic balancer bottoms out on the crankshaft. So what we're working on is a Ford small block 302 and the thread size on this crankshaft is 5 8 18. I can start filling it bottom out now so that's it right there that's as far as I can go now I'm going to back this off back the nut off and we can thread the rod out. And with the instructions on the new bolt for the crankshaft, comes with its own thread lock. Um, it says to put it on the bolt threads on the face of the washer that contacts the harmonic balancer, and then to torque it down to 90 foot pounds from the manufacturer of the harmonic balancer, but on here it says 120, so we'll do 90 maybe a hundred um, and get that on there so we're going to tighten that down to 90 foot pounds Looks like it's still pressing it on a bit. Alright, so we just used these two bolts um, to use as leverage when we were tightening down the center bolt. Put a pry bar in there and then uh, tighten it down to 90 foot pounds. And then that's it. The harmonic balancer is now installed.